Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com and in this video we're going to use Paint.net to put a border around our image. I have my image all cropped and resized. Now I'm going to go to Effects, down to Render, and up to Border and Shapes. Here will come your pop-up. Normally it starts with black and your size is already adjusted. And since we can't see it, Let's see what the width does so you can see what we're working with here. Now, as you can see, I've broadened my border. Now, if you would like to change the color of the border, you can use the color wheel and simply click on colors until you find the right one. Or you can put in the numbers and pick your color. Or if you would like to match a color that's in the picture, we're going to cancel. We're going to go over here to our tools and pick the color picker. Looks like a little eyedropper. Now I'm going to take it and place it right in my flower on a color I'd like. Click and as you can see it's going to show up over here in your color box. Now we're going to go to effects, render, borders and shapes, and there's our color. This is the color we picked with the color picker. Now I'll make it a little bigger so you can see. And if for any reason you don't like it, cancel, get your color picker, go in and choose a different spot on your flower. Now that we have a color we like, we go up to shape. You're going to get to choose from rectangle, which we have now. You can do an eclipse, which is basically just a circle. They also have arc and pie, which I'm not sure when you'd use them, but you're welcome to try them. Now, we can either have a solid pattern. Let me change this back to a rectangle so we can see it better. You can have a solid pattern. You can do dotted. You can do dashed. And for this, we'll try dotted. And here you have pattern caps. Pattern caps are going to be how your edges look. Right now we have flat. We can go round and give it more of a dot. Or we can go triangle and make it more diamond-like. You can also space these dots, dashes, and diamonds by moving your slider bar. You want more? Move it over to the left. You want them spaced further apart? Move it to the right. So once you've decided you've got your border and you like it, you're simply going to click OK. Once you've clicked OK and your picture's exactly like you want it, you're going to go File, Save As, Name Your Image, Pick Your File Type, and click Save. You'll be Ask OK, and there you go. Now you have an image with a fancy colored border, any color and width you'd like. I hope this helps you with your images for your blog. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Hot Blog Tips on YouTube. Thanks!